Hi, I'm Aaron Martins. I got a special treat for you. I'm actually kind of known for drop shotting, and I really don't know why because I don't drop shot that much, I don't think. <laughs> but I've been doing it a long time. I've been drop shotting for 15 years, 17 years since I first started drop shotting, so I have a lot of experience doing it. And growing up in California, you, you had to drop shot, it was the right place for it. But we have a brand new rod. It's a the new Orochi 2X series. It's a F F3611 uh, um, drop shot rod, and it's a little bit heavier. It's going to be good for like seven to eight. Perfect for that. Um, you could throw a shaky head on if you want to. I already have. But it's it's it may, it's not like I'm known for drop shining a lot of times using that really light stuff, you know, the, the super finesse and you know most time it's not like that. Most time you go out there and throw eight pound, quarter ounce, three sixteen ounce weight. You go to Kentucky, wherever you're at. That's kind of what you do most of the time. This rod's perfect for that. Uh, it's you know if you get in that really finesse stuff, it's going to be slightly heavy for that. And I would I would use a different mega bass rod for that, which I'm working on for next year. But for this year we have just a more average kind of good drop shot rod. And you can throw just about anything you want on. It's a good spinning rod. 611. It's got a lot of backbone, but it's got a nice soft tip on it. Uh, again, I can't really show you too much about it because we're here, but it's, you know, it's soft. But it's got backbone, which I like. Uh, anytime you're throwing like 7 and 8 pound line on a long cast with a drop shot, you want a lot of backbone. So that's what this rod's got. But I helped design it. and. Um, I tapered the cork to the to the blank so when you're, you're holding your don't have a reel on this one obviously but when you hold the reel uh, you're, I like the transition from your cork to the blank to be smooth and I you know I always filed mine off with a file or a rasp but now it's all done I don't have to do that no more so so I like to put my finger on the blank it just seems like it can feel a little better and, and I just like to be able to hold it like that kind of slide up and down the blank. You know, if you're fighting a fish, a lot of times I do a land a fish, I don't even take my hand up, I just let the blank slide down and then I grab them like that. So there's a lot of reasons why I taper it and I like it like that. It's got a Fuji, Fuji handle on it, it's got a cork butt on it so it doesn't jab you in the ribs. But that's it. Uh, the new drop shot rod by Orochi times 2, 2x you can call it, drop shot rod. You know, give them a shot, they're not priced as much as some of the other Mega Bass rods. This rod is actually going to be less than 300 bucks um, so it's definitely more affordable and it's it's a good light it's really light I mean you can't really see it but it's a very light rod uh, at least you know just check them out and maybe hold one see what you think and uh, before you make your next rod decision